Using hardware description languages in TINA Part 1, creating macros from a VHDL code. Hardware description languages are powerful tools to describe and simulate complex electronic devices. In this tutorial video, we will show you how you can create a macro from a VHDL code and use in TINA. You can create macros from Verilog, Verilog A and Verilog AMS files in a similar way. You can create a macro from any .vhd, .v, .va, .vams file that contains an entity, interface to the outside world, with its architecture, description of the hardware. The meaning of the file extensions is as follows. Files with the .vhd extension are VHDL files. Files with the .v extension are Verilog files. Files with the .va extension are Verilog A files, and the files with the .vams extension are Verilog AMS files. The ports declared in the interface part will automatically appear in the macro symbol, shape. By default, the input ports of the interface will appear on the left side of the generated macro shape, and the output ports of the interface will appear on the right side. But by editing the generated macro, you can change this arrangement. For example, consider the following VHDL interface. In this case, the AB ports will appear on the left side, and the SC ports will appear on the right side of the macro shape. Now let's see how to make a macro from the following VHDL code, a half adder. Note that the essential code of the half adder is two lines long only. Open Tina. Click the Tools menu. Select New Macro Wizard. Type a name for the new macro. In our case, half underscore adder underscore VHDL. Change the settings from Current Circuit to From File. Click the Open icon. Change the file type to VHDL. From the TINA program folder, select Examples. Open the VHDL folder. Select the half underscore adder underscore VHDL dot VHD file and press Open. Press the Next button to save the macro, and save the macro into the default Macrolib folder. You can insert the macro by pressing the Insert button, or you can select the Insert Macro from the menu. Click the Insert button. The newly created macro will be attached to your cursor, and you can place it wherever you wish on the workspace. To see the content of the macro, double-click on it and press the Enter Macro button the content of the macro appears. Let's test our newly created macro in Tina's digital interactive mode. To do this, place two high-low digital switches from the switches toolbar, one for each of the AB inputs, and two logic indicators. Now select the digital interactive mode with the narrow select interactive mode button on the toolbar. Then press the Dig button. The logic levels of the nodes appear. Red for high, blue for low. Click the switches to change the input states. The logic indicators will also show the logic level of the outputs in a red square for high and empty square for low. The half adder circuit works as required. In our example so far, the terminals or pins of the macro were placed automatically. You can change the automatic pin arrangement of an automatically generated macro by editing its header. For example, the header in the previous example is, the pin arrangement is determined by the following line. The ports before the first semicolon are placed on the left, while the rest are placed on the right side of the macro box. If you change the port line to ports as follows, A, B, S will be placed on the left side 
and C on the right side of the macro box. You can also change the vertical order of the pins by changing the order of the pins in the list. Let's see how to convert the previous macro, half underscore adder underscore VHDL, into a new macro called half underscore adder underscore VHDL underscore modified. Double click the macro and press the Enter Macro button. Let's change the ports line to as follows. Select File, select Save As, save the modified code. We will save it under the name half underscore adder underscore VHDL underscore modified dot VHD. Close the Tina HDL editor. In the pop-up window, the following message appears. Macro has been modified. Confirm changes. Click No. Let's create a new macro with the modified pin arrangement. Click the Tools menu. Select New Macro Wizard. Enter the name of the new macro. In our case, half underscore adder underscore VHDL underscore modified. Change the settings from current circuit to from file. Click the open icon. Invoke the place where your newly created macro is saved. In our case, the downloads folder. Change the file type to VHDL. Select the half underscore adder underscore VHDL underscore modified file, then click Open. Press the Next button to save the macro and save the .tsm file into the default macrolib folder. Click the Insert button. The modified macro with the revised pinout version will be attached to your cursor and you can place it anywhere on the workspace. By double-clicking the modified macro, then pressing the Enter Macro button, you can see the content of the macro with the revised pin arrangement. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud-based multi-language installation free online version of Tina running in your browser anywhere in the world.